good morning. I was outside. That's why my glasses are like their sunglasses. Today is Saturday, February 3rd. No birthdays, no anniversaries, so no singing. I can't promise that. We never know. It might just happen. We just never know. Um... I really picked the poor title for my my thing yesterday because I scared a lot of people. But I was <laughs> getting so upset over some silly things about being on the phone, dealing with people overseas, and my health is not, you know, it's it's just not worth all that frustration. But I, I got a lot accomplished, so at least I did that. But I had to get on the phone again today <laughs> because um, they, David and I had got new phones last month, and... Somehow when we were signing up, I didn't really pay that much attention, which is on me. And they signed me up for all these perks that added up to almost $74 that uh, neither one of us really wanted. So I had to call Verizon to um, get that removed. And then I had to deal with somebody that did not understand English. He spoke English words, but he did not understand English words. And then somehow we got disconnected. And I took my own advice from yesterday, and I thought... Calm down. Just call back later. Don't do it now. You're too upset. So I just did some other stuff. Got my W-2 forms together, looking to see which ones I'm still waiting for. And then probably about 15 minutes later, he called me back. And he apologized that we got disconnected. And uh, he got everything all removed that I wanted removed. So I didn't have to get all stressed. I didn't have to get all upset. So it was it was it was well worth it. And then I had to call CVS and deal with them. For some reason, they don't have my birth date listed right, so I can't check on my prescriptions to see if they are been filled. And then I tried to talk to a pharmacist, and I was on hold for five minutes, and then I hung up once again. It's not worth the frustration. This, the place is not that far from me. If I feel like going out later on today, I'll go and I'll just go up to the pharmacy and ask. Our pharmacy is closed between 1 and 2 anyhow for lunch hours. They bring the gate down the whole bit. They lock it up tight as a drum because you can't get anybody to work anywhere you go. And I, I understand that's the problem when you're trying to call people and you're on hold for so long. Is I don't know. I know they keep saying people are, the, you know, the, the job market. I guess the job market is doing really well and everything's up and all that. But, you know, like sometimes you just don't see it because, I don't know, I just don't see it. I don't know. But I see for sale, uh, not for sale, help wanted signs everywhere. So I, I don't understand. I don't. But in the same sense, uh, when Alyssa was looking for a job, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, we have a, a Tim Hortons by us. And Taco Bell all had signs up, help wanted, and she applied at all of them. And the only place they called her was uh, Taco Bell. And the only reason they called her at Taco Bell is because David's best friend's mother is the manager of Taco Bell. And so she got, she hired uh, Alyssa, you know, because she knew David. But so, you know, even our Kroger's, it tells you that they, they have a help wanted. And I don't know. I just, I don't know if they're just not calling people or people just don't want to work. I don't know. It's just, it's different nowadays. It really is different. But then on this one corner by our house, obviously they're going to have to change the traffic light. Um, where I live, there's a, a, it's a main intersection. It's a main row. It's a highway. Uh, it's M53, I think it is, or M29. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a big road. It's a, it's a major road. And, uh, and where I'm coming out on the side street is like a main road, but not a, busy road but a main road nonetheless and to get across the street which is 23 mile road if you're familiar with the area but to get across 23 mile road from this particular area <clears throat> the light because we have timed it is um 34 seconds 34 seconds which seems like a lot but by the light time the light turns green and the car starts only one car can get through and they are building a new gas station on that corner uh called she's which is kind of like the Wawa's, I guess, from the east. They said it's kind of close, similar, not the same. But uh, they said it's based, like, uh, as an example, Wawa's is an example for them. And it's going to have donuts and slurpy machine, kind of like a 7-Eleven, I think, it sounds like, but with a gas station. But our 7-Eleven has a gas station, too. 
So I don't know, but they're going to definitely have to change the light because there are, I would say, at least once a week, really bad accidents on that corner because people try to beat the light because, you know, and then the thing is, it's 34 seconds to get across, but Jim and I have timed it. And like, if you're stuck at that light, you sit there for three minutes and 45 seconds. Now that's a long time to sit at a light. It's a whole song. It's a whole song on the radio. So it's like, no, I mean... So anyway, we got that coming. Then we have a Chick-fil-A coming, which is going to be horrendous. I've never eaten. Uh, no, I take that back. I had a Chick-fil-A one time at the Somerset Mall, which is not near me. We were coming back from a trip or something, and we stopped there to have dinner or lunch or something. And I had a chicken sandwich, and you know what? It was, to me, a, a chicken sandwich. I just, I don't know. Maybe there's more things on the menu, but I was just, I was more in tune to the famous Amos cookie place that was right next door so while Jim was in line for the Chick-fil-A I was in line for the famous Amos cookies <laughs> so um it was the famous Amos or Mrs. Fields it was one of the two but it was a good cookie let me tell you it was really a good cookie when I worked at Montgomery Wards I used to always go to oh, Aunt Jane's it was a pretzel place it was delicious I used to go there for lunch that was it was really I really liked that place obviously I got really heavy during that and during the 80s when I was working there. Or it was during the 90s, actually. But, um, so now I've got everything all situated. The only thing I didn't get, which Denise and Mary got, and it's just, it burns my butt just to, for the fact that I did all the work. Well, I didn't do all the work. Lynn did all the work. But I was with her the whole step, every step of the way. Um, everybody got their e-tickets. Guess who didn't get their e-tickets? Me. I don't know why. I don't, I checked my email and checked everything and I, I just can't, I can't figure it out. I just can't, I don't know how to figure it out. And then I want to try to figure out how to do my uh, Comcast to bring my email up because yes, I was right because it's, before I had at att.net, now it's at comcast.net, but I can keep the whole beginning the same. So I was trying to set up the mailbox and I couldn't figure it out. And then we're, we, up, like I told you yesterday, we upgraded the internet service to go a little bit faster and uh, their box is supposed to be delivered tomorrow. So on Monday, when we go to the gym, after we get out of the gym, I'm gonna we're gonna go over to the actual store, and I'm gonna have them walk me through how to set up the email on my phone and how to check my bill. Cause even I can't even view my bill. And I told you my bill is supposed to be eighty dollars before I get my thirty dollar discount, and uh, my bill shows it's one hundred fifteen dollars. So I have to go over there to get figure out what's going on with that before the... Because I have it set up to come automatically out of my check-in account. And it's supposed to come out in two weeks. And so I want to make sure I know what's going on with that. But uh, the weather's beautiful. It's can't, you can't really tell. It's sunny. That's why the... the oh, the mail. I got my mail out just in time. My friend Jeff's birthday is um, next week on Tuesday. And so I wanted to get his card out. I was gonna. I was thinking it was Thursday, and I thought, well, I got plenty of time. And then I was looking at the calendar this morning, and I thought, no, Jeff's birthday's on Tuesday. You got to get that in the mail today. So I got out there just in time. I got that out in the mailbox. So I got that in there. Um, gonna watch some YouTube videos today. I've already talked to Christy. She's on the hunt. Her uh, great niece. Her. How would that work? Her niece's, yeah, it was her niece's baby. So that would be her great niece. Um, is on some kind of special formula that's very hard to find. And so Christy and Sophia are on the hunt looking for it. And you're only allowed to buy two. So Christy's going to buy two and Sophia's going to buy two. And then Christy's sister-in-law is going to buy two. <laughs> Just, you know, I know that kind of shorts it out for whoever, but it's that's very hard to find. And when your baby's hungry, you want to make sure your baby eats. So... I'm watching on Prime, Jeff Lewis. Anthony Anderson is not one of my favorite people. Uh, you know, he, I've told you that before. His mother is on everything. And just, it, I mean, I, lo I love that he loves his mother, and I, I love that he takes care of his mother, but I, I don't love that his mother's on everything he's on. You know, I love my mom, but she's not on everything of mine. And my kids, I love my kids, but I don't put them on every single video. But I do put them on a lot. <laughs> I really do. But... Um, Anyway, he, he's on there. He's one of the ones that are, he's getting his house redone or whatever, redecorated. And uh, it's just, you know, like they complain about this, the silliest things. They got so much money to blow. And then they, you know, like 
It's like a meme, not just him. I, I th most of the celebrities that are on there, they, why, why is it taking so long? Like if you and I want to get something, we know we got to wait. When they're a celebrity, they think they're going to get it right away. But he is so skinny. And it's just like the reason people can't, the diabetics that need the, I can never think of the name of it. I know what it is. The Olympic or the Olympia, you know what I, you know what I'm talking about. The, the, the one that Weight Watchers is pushing for your weight loss and stuff like that. Well, you know the people in Hollywood are all getting it because he is downright skinny. He is just downright skinny. I remember him from when he was on Law & Order, and he was a porker. I mean, he was really big. And then he did lose a lot of weight. I'll give him credit for that. I don't know whether he did it on his own or not, but he did lose a lot of weight. And um, But now he's just downright skinny. And Olympic? No. I'm going to put it right here because you know what it is. I know what it is, but I just can't I can't say that. I just, I'm not even going to frustrate myself with it. It's not worth it. Because we all know what I'm talking about. But he has to be taking that to be that skinny. He just has to be. And it's just, it's not fair to the people like diabetics that really need the medicine, but people are just using it for weight loss. And then if you really need it for your health, you can't get it because somebody just doesn't know how to say no with their food. Now, I know that some people have, I'm one of these people that it's hard for me to lose weight. I gained two pounds this week and I was on plan. I, if I look back, I look back at my tracker and the only thing I can say that is because I was exercising, although I've been told I haven't exercised enough that it would affect my body, which I completely accept. But the only thing I can think of is that I ate out the night before and the sodium, I had a sodium gain because I have no regrets from my previous week. Um, I, and that's why you shouldn't let the number on the scale define you. You really shouldn't. And I'm really trying very hard this year to overcome that thought process. Although I'll admit it's a little hard for me sometimes. I'm still thinking that way. And uh, and I, I'm judging it how I'm feeling. I have to tell you, though, that since I started walking, I do feel that my balance is, is getting better. I really do. I, I think it's the fact that I'm strengthening my leg muscles um, by the walking, not sitting around so much like I was. And... Um, and when I'm in the pool, I practice going in the deeper end, which is not really that deep. It's like five foot deep. But it's enough that when people are swimming by, there's a little bit of motion in the ocean, if you know what I'm talking about. But uh, there's a little bit of a current, not a, not even a current, but you know what I'm talking about. So I, I try to stand on just one foot as long as I can and then switch it off. And so if I fall over, I'm in the water. <laughs> Who cares? So I, I've been doing that a little bit more. I just have to work on my upper body strength a little bit, a little bit more. But I think that I'm really seeing a difference. I'm really looking forward to going on my vacation, especially now since everything's taken care of. I just, when I get my income tax, I'll pay all my credit cards off, which will probably work out perfectly because I should be bringing my stuff in and getting my refund about the middle of March. And that'd be about when my credit cards are going to be coming due because I had just paid them before I put more money on them. So um, that's that's going to be nice when I can get that. And just if I can get the figure out why I didn't get my e-tickets. I printed everything off and I have a folder. So if I never ever have to refer to it, I have it. Just have to figure out our suitcase. Um, I would like to just do an overhead and uh, not have to worry about dealing with luggage, especially since they charge you now. As much as you pay, you still got to pay for luggage to be brought on. Jim and I are thinking we're just going to share one bag and then just bring our carry-on. Jim doesn't. Jim's bringing his carry-on to... Um, uh, in his suitcase just to bring souvenirs home with. So he'll have that. And I agree with all of you when you said that I should get out of the middle seat and just sit on an aisle. We don't have to sit next to each other, which is very true. I'm just hoping that the plane doesn't fill up and there's nobody next to me. I know that's a dream. Dream, I know. Dream on, Sandy. Dream on. But, uh, and if I get too uncomfortable, I'll just switch seats and make him sit in the middle and I'll sit over by the window because that doesn't bother me one way or the other. My favorite part of flying is the most dangerous parts of flying is the takeoff and the landing. Those are my favorite parts of flying. <laughs> and those are really when the most things are going to happen. So I'm just going to check all the bolts, make sure the bolts are on, <laughs> all that good stuff like that. I'm sure by then they'll have, I'm hoping they'll have everything because there's always something going on. But when you think about it, you travel in a car way more than you do in a plane. The only thing with the plane when it crashes, there's so many people at one time getting killed or hurt or whatever. Whereas in a car crash, if you would add them all up in a day, they probably would 10 or 20 times the amount of people that die in a single plane crash in a month. And as compared to in a day around the United States, people getting killed in car accidents. So I always look at it from that point of view. And if it's your time to go, it's your time to go. So... 
Just got to look at it with that frame of mind, I guess. But I'm going to have a salad for my lunch because I have salad left over from uh, our dinner the other day. And um, we only had dark meat turkey left. I'm not a big fan of dark meat. I know they say it's the moisture part of the bird. But I like all the white meat, the breast mount, the meat, which goes fast in my family because everybody seems to like that. And that's it, I think. I think that's about it. So, um, well, I hope you subscribe to my channel. I hope you like my channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you want to talk about. I'll talk about whatever. I try to tell stories, but I can't think of too many stories lately. I keep repeating them sometimes because, you know, they're my favorites. <laughs> it's like the best stuff, Sandy, or whatever. But, so, well, that'll do it for now. So, hope to see you here again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.